OK. Here's a PowerPoint slide, the introduction to the lecture. What's wrong with this slide? It has this lovely picture of a, a woman with her dog. Surely this is good. No, this is appalling. Why is it appalling? It's appalling because the background is really into the foreground. The background is supposed to be the background. Look at it again. That's how the background is supposed to look. So that it goes into the background. Nothing that jumps so far forward that you don't take any notice of the real topics here. Now what are the topics? Introduction to computing software. What is it? And then we see these watches melting, turning soft, turning soft, software. If you want to see any lectures here, you've got them here, 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 there, and there. All of these are backup subjects for tower students. An item in the news, LimeWire shut so you can't download music. But when you look at it, this suggested what have people been downloading from LimeWire? Music? Yes. Movies? Yes. Programs? But then, look at all this viruses that it suggests that people have been loading, downloading too. OK. What are we looking at this week? Software, PC programs, folders and files, the operating system, the control panel, perhaps the assignment, and some revision, followed by the summary. OK. Software equals programs. OK? Programs on your PC. Such as the operating system, the control panel and all the things on it. And then the Microsoft things. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access. Yeah? You could be on Windows or you could be on Apple, so it could be either operating system, couldn't it? Now let's move along. When you are saving your work, you can save it onto the U drive or to your USB. Right? You you could create a folder with your name on it. You could enter your enter it. That's enter this folder, and create a subsequent folder for your subject then create four more folders for the computer folder. Let's go through that again. So, there's your folder and your student name. You've created a folder in your area with your student name. OK. So you go into that folder go to Organize and New Folder and then inside that Your Name folder you create three more folders. Subject 3, Subject 2 and Computers. Now you go into the Computers folder and you create four more folders. These you name Database, PowerPoint, Excel, Assignment. Now if you do that in your computer lesson then you can go into database and organize your database. You can look at various PowerPoint lessons, various Excel lessons and you can look at the assignment. All right, These are different places that you might save things into. Why are you dividing things into folders? So that you've got some organization going on so that you can easily find things. 
let's move along. It says here an operating system is a bridge. A bridge between you, the student, and all of this, the software. How do you get from one to the other? You use the operating system. Well, there it is again. There's the operating system at the center of everything. If you wish to go to an application, some sort of program, you go through the operating system. How do you get to the operating system? With the mouse and the keyboard and the monitor. And of course you go from your disk drive. So all of these things are involved. You might not involve the printer at this stage, but you might also decide that you're going to print off your work. You've been looking at your work on your monitor through your drive using your mouse you tell it you tell it or do you tell it that you wish to print you see it on there and type it in there. Here you are, the operating system at the center of things. There's you there's an application. It could be any program. Microsoft Office and from there Excel, PowerPoint, Access. Go to the operating system. Through the operating system you're using the hardware aren't you to get onto this, to get onto that, get hmm. or the other way around. Now what are the features on, of an operating system? You want to est establish a bridge, an interface between you and the programs. It says it permits multiple users, okay, it manages data files, it handles input and output via your keyboard or your printer. If the, key, if the computer goes down it allows for error recovery, doesn't it? Excel will save your file and then you'll be able to to get some of the recent work, not all of it, but some of it. And then your your system will show you how much is, is being used, so it gives you some sort of account. Right, so there's system accounting and maintenance accounting. Okay, let's move along. Now if you're thinking about your PowerPoint assignment, you want notes that we want the notes page with the slide. Think about the rules. Tell them what you're going to tell them, then tell them, then tell them what you've told them. Twenty slides, title, contents. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Seventeen slides talking about the topics one to five. Tell them and then a summary. Tell them what you have told them. You have to bear these three, three things in mind in every presentation, but especially in the assignment. Now let's have some, some basic facts here. I've already talked about poor backgrounds in the opening slides. I'd like you to make your own backgrounds. Only use two fonts more than two fonts and it looks like a ransom note. No underlining unless it's a hyperlink. Use pictures. Use pictures frequently. What are we saying? One picture is worth a thousand words. Seventy-five word, words per notes page. And here's a final thing. Make background background with no dogs or cats. Now what's the control panel about? If you go to Microsoft Windows, the graphical user interface, the GUI, it allows you to change the basic system settings and controls such as controlling user accounts or changing accessibility options. Yeah. The display panel. Alright. 
here it is there themes desktop screensaver appearance settings you can set all of these things all right the desktop you can set your own picture on there appearance settings all right you can actually make these bigger or smaller depending on on what you want so sometimes in in the uh, lecture room I've gone to this and made these size instead of 8 I've made these 28 similarly with each one of these so that they could be seen at the back of the, the room all I needed to do was go to advanced and then change these things I say all oh, this is time consuming but you only need to do it once if it's your personal machine and this one is saying well what sort of size screen are you using so you may personalize your screen according to what you want program software what are you going to do this picture of Jack somebody taken from the, the film Pirates of the Cap Caribbean obviously this is a, a, a copyright film and this is owned by somebody else buying downloading installing stealing stealing now those are various ways you might get software what pirate software weekly hmm now you could go to Microsoft Office and buy a 2007 edition of it from stu software for students are there students in your family so you can get great do software discounts or you could go to something like Microsoft Office o and get 07 for that buying again at a discount but you can go to these people so you can buy software you can have trials you can go to popular downloads and get these right you can install them or you could steal it and end up behind bars not to be advised you could write it yourself software written by the end user specialist department design write it test it or you could get external consultants to write your material and test it hmm. so you could buy software off the shelf you might even buy a package and then customize it or you might get software rented so the user pays an annual fee here's a company that does that sort of thing what's the criteria for selecting software well functionality does it do all the tasks you want robustness is it error free and able to handle large amounts of data with no crashing and then performance handle requests for data quickly also is it portable does it have support initial training for when somebody has problems when you talk about portability this lady certainly is carrying something but I wouldn't say that that was that made the thing portable it's essential that data can be exported to different packages When Google Mail first came out, it had this beta thing there, right? This beta message saying it exposes products to the real use and detects problems and areas not anticipated by the de developer. So while it's still in a beta stage of development, that's when you give it all sorts of problems. The product can be uh, can then be modified and further tested before products is sent to the market so that's beta testing you're saying to yourself why is that then and why is that further because at some stage I have re replaced 
the with a space to try and cut down on the number of words in here. I forgot to press a particular box which said only choose full words. Let's move along. Failure in software testing. Two years ago British Airways opened up a, a Terminal 5. The, t the software they were using wasn't tested to the right level as a consequences of the consequence of this baggage went all over the world to the wrong places. The desire to be first on the market may lead to, custo to cutting corners in the testing. The deadline to be met, testing not thorough as it should be. Test plan, test data may be an in inadequate plus some aspects of the software are not tested at all. That's a problem. If you're testing things, you need to test it properly. OK. Now before I go away totally from this lecture, we're using the Harvard system of referencing. The book that we're looking at is, is the author is P. Buckley and D. Clark. The date 2004. It was called The Rough Guide to PCs and Windows and it was published in London by Pub the P Penguin Group. So if I want to put this in the Harvard C scheme of referencing, the Harvard method, I've got to put Buckley P. Clark D. brackets 2004 Rough Guide to PCs and Windows, comma, London, colon, Penguin Group. This is the way that you should reference all of your books. OK. We've looked at definition of PC programs, folders and files, the operating system, a little at the op control panel, a little at the assignment, and finally some work on the Harvard's referencing system. Thank you very much.